Well, country music singer and songwriter Loretta Lynn has died at the age of 90. Her career spanned decades. Known as a pioneer of the music industry and one of the genre's first female stars. Loretta Lynn's rags to riches story is well known. A coal miner's daughter who became the queen of country music. She was the second of Clara and Melvin Webb's eight children. Born in Butcher Hollow, part of the Appalachia Hill country in Kentucky. Her life during the Great Depression didn't offer many advantages. She grew up without electricity, indoor plumbing, and only completed the eighth grade. As a young teen, she married Oliver Vanetta Lynn, whom she called by the nickname Do or Doolittle. He was 21. A decade later, Loretta Lynn was a mother of four, playing guitar and writing songs at home. With her husband's encouragement, she entered a talent competition and was spotted by a record producer. Her first song, Honky Tonk Girl, was a minor hit, and the Lynn family moved to Nashville. Her marriage had its share of troubles, many of which spilled over into her songs. You ain't woman enough to take my man. Lynn said her husband had problems with alcohol and her long absences on the road. They went on to have a total of six kids, but family life was not always harmonious. Touring took a toll on her health. She battled chronic illnesses and exhaustion. Her best-selling autobiography chronicled her hardships, heartaches, and rise to stardom. I can't sing in front of people. I just can't. Sissy Spacek won an Oscar playing her on the screen. Well, I was born to call in 2004, Lynn would make a huge comeback recording the highly acclaimed album Van Leer Rose, produced by Jack White. She would be nominated for five Grammys for the album, winning two, including Best Country Album. Lynn brought a strong female point of view to country music and was seen as a homespun advocate for ordinary women. Well, they say that I'm too country. The way I look and sound. Her career spanned half a century, generating dozens of number one songs. From humble beginnings to country music royalty, Lynn never dreamed of being such a success. I don't think it, you can dream for success because I think it's more or less you have to work for it. Her hard work paid off with a lifetime of awards, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2013. And as for inspiring future performers, she said they needed to be one of three things. Great, different or first, and I just happened to be different because I started writing my own songs and didn't really realize that the things that I was writing about, nobody wanted to talk about them, they were just doing them, you know?